So welcome to the video. I'm Paracore, and I'm playing Storm today, Blue Red Storm. This is the decklist I'm playing, and this is the first video of a new video series I'm doing. The video series is going to be me playing against different modern content, content creators of our channel. And the first person we're going to play against is Tobias, who's already challenging me here. Uh, Tobias usually plays Lantern Control, sometimes Kaboom Bees. I'm not sure what he's playing today, so we'll have to see. And I'm sure Brennan is going to be so nice and put up an annotation on the YouTube video to a play playlist of Tobias and my other games. Um. I'm gonna keep this, I think this is a very good hand. <clears throat> we have one Electromancer, one Ascension, which is very very nice. We have two lands, two cantrips. I don't like this grape shot, we don't need that, but the rest is very nice. Um and about the video series, I really wanna I wanna try to play as many people as there are, so if you're seeing this on the YouTube later, um you know and you and you wanna be part of this video series, give you can send me a message or contact me, whatever. And I, th I'm, I definitely want to play against Farf. I mean, I've played against Farf a lot, and it's been on stream a lot, but specifically for this video series, I want to do that. And also Dan. What do I, what am I even looking for? I should, I have to take a minute now here and think. So next turn, he's probably deaf in Texas. Next turn, I want to play Electromance or Ascension. Well, let's get off him playing Falia. If he plays Falia, we're just losing. Well, Electromance, I guess, is good against Falia. What are we looking for? I think we're looking for Rituals. Not Lands. Not Lands. The thing is about it, I don't like this card because if we're unlucky, we discard Ascension. We discard Electromancer, and we really don't want that to happen. I'm also a little bit worried about Dried Militant. If our opponent has Dried Militant, we just probably just lose. Very hard to, to win against that. Pot Scour is nice. I'm going to start out with Electro Monster, I think. Actually, I'm going to start with Ascension. And I choose to um, play Blue Red Storm rather than Lutron because there's a lot of Lutron already uh, for the YouTube. And I wanted to do, this is one of the other decks I own. Um, it's just a budget list. It, it's lacking some of the very nice things. Um, but, like, it doesn't have Blood Moon, that's like the most important part from the sideboard. But it's a pretty potent, pretty, pretty good list. I'm not sure if I want to fetch it because of the scry. I think I definitely want to Thought Scar myself. <clears throat> so I think what I'm most likely going to do is I'm just going to play Electromancer and pass and then end of turn Fort Scar myself. End of his turn. Actually in response to this I have to I have to Fort Scar myself because he could bring in Infalia. Although he's Zoo now, which I find weird. And I'm hoping that this Fort Scar is going to turn on the Ascension. We have a Ritual there and a Ritual in hand. That's good. That's good. So this Ritual is going to help us. Blood Artist. Oh, this is Kaboom Beast then, right? I didn't, I didn't recognize it, but this, I think this is Kaboom Beast. <coughs> Oh, 
or maybe I'm wrong because I've seen it. I've seen the deck maybe once or twice, but I'm not an expert on how it works exactly. Okay, let's see. I think we can try to go for it here. Ritual, one counter, ritual. We have four mana, this is plus two, this is plus two. We're at eight mana. We just have to find something to turn it on. Yeah, I think we go for it. Only she has always yield. My Alphos is very good. Generating some more mana. Texan Probe, very good. Just have to find something we already have in the graveyard and then we're going off. Blasphemous Act. Ah, uh, this is not looking good. I want a slide of hand or do I? I think I want a slide of hand. Oof. Ah, uh, can put in the Reckoner. I play Electromancer, so that would be five. Blasphemous Act. Is nine mana, I think. Well, as soon as X is nine mana, so after five, it goes to four mana. I think it doesn't matter because I, I don't play either. I don't want another Electromancer. I'm just gonna flashback Ravings here and hope for the best. Hope that we find any two spells. Any two spells gonna do it. Yeah, now we're golden. Now we're golden. Maybe I should have played it at the other way around. Okay, I go for double blue here actually. <clears throat> well we could still um could still fizzle here, but if we get a look at four cards, it's very unlikely. I think I'm gonna pop out the graveyard now. Because very soon I think we're gonna find past and flames. So is this your deck or a deck for a channel? This is I bought this deck like a week ago. I already owned some of the cards. Yeah. Okay, I think probably not gonna lose now. We need a ritual or Possum flames soon, but I don't think I mean we have double zero versions. And this is not helping. Um ratings. I guess we I we need rituals, so bottom bottom. Rituals and pasta flames. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. So I put on the top, put on the top. And now I cost Sam Visions because I want both of these. If I slide off hand I only get one of these cards. So I get the ritual now, and I put that on the top, put the Pass and Flames on the bottom, now we draw the Pass and Flames, ritual, and yeah, that's fine, we don't really care about the rest. Now we ritual, and then we Pass and Flames, and then we just cast our graveyard and win. We already had a Storm count of 12. <clears throat> Do you want to staff him before? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, we're not fizzling from now on. We basically won at this point. It's only going through the motions. I don't think we need more rituals. 
can make this a little bit smaller so it doesn't fit on my hand. <clears throat> okay, all the rituals. I'm gonna do some mana poses here. We're at 18. Yeah, I'm just gonna grape shot him now because it's GG. I mean, we had double grape shot. I actually could have just double grape shot him before. I just I didn't realize we had a second grape shot in hand already. <clears throat> How much did the deck cost you? Well, I owned a lot of the cards already. I the only cards I really had to buy were Past and Flames and Pyromancer's Ascension, and I, I think I bought like one Shivan Reef and like one Steam Vans. I already had no. I actually I already had the steam vents. I had the flooded strand, and I bought two polluted delta. And uh, what else did I buy? Well, yeah, the past and flames for past and flames and pyromancer's ascension was basically what I bought. And I think that was like thirty bucks maybe. So kaboom bees. We don't want empty warrants. That's that's. Obvious, we really don't want empty warrants. I'm not sure if we maybe want pyroclasm. If we stop him from getting creatures on the board, he cannot blasphemous act. Um, echoing truth on the Boris Reckoner in response to to the to the blasphemous act is not bad. I think we could just all in, just not bought anything, because if if we bought something, we are diluting uh, our the core of our deck, right? We take out a cantrip for something, and then it's less likely, or we're you know if if you draw something like Pyroclasm in your starting hand, you have one less action spell, right? You have one less cantrip. So by not boarding, we are increasing our chances. Our, our combo is more pure, and we're more likely to combo off successfully. So I think I just don't board it at all. And I th I'm not saying that you have to not board. I think you probably can board. Echoing Truth probably can board Pyroclasm. Maybe Dispel, I'm not sure what for. I think you actually always bring in Echoing Truth, and I think it was probably a mistake not to do that, now in hindsight. Because he could have Leyline of Sanctity. And I'm gonna mulligan this. This is not capable. This is capable, but it's. Mm, it's meh. At best. Yeah, I think I keep a uh, Slide of Hand. I really like the new Scry ruling with mulligans. Okay, let's go for fetch shock, sleight of hand. Ooh, get and probe, I think. Mall of Omen's voice, that's not a. He's on a mall to five? A multi five, okay. That hand is just gonna lose to us, I think. I think he has a bad matchup. I'm not gonna do another Gatex and Probe right now. I think there's just no reason to do it. And I wanna I wanna have information every single turn. But I think Wall of Omens and Voice of Resurgence are just not gonna cut it. I'm not sure what kind of sideboard hate he might have. Rest in peace seems very strong. So I'm gonna pay two life again, but I'm probably gonna. Oh no, I should have played Ascension before that. Ractor Charm. Wow. That's certainly a thing. Oh, we... oh wow. Oh, this is good. 
Sleight of hand is also in our graveyard. Yeah, I wouldn't want to pay two life here. This is only sealed. He doesn't have a red source for Rector Shaman, but he has a sacred fountain in his hand. So voice we really don't care about. Rector Shaman seems good. We have to make him blow Rector Shaman early. The thing is, we don't need Pass and Flames necessarily if we have an online Power Monsters Ascension. And I mean, it's gonna be online unless he blows Rector Shaman right now because we we cast Slider Fan and then it's gonna be online. That's the thing. Brings in the voice sorcery speed. Huh. Well, we want to start out with Slider Fan to get our ascension up. Shouldn't have played a land. Definitely the spell. We need something to draw cards. I think we just we either just pass an end of turn desperate ravings or we just play Electromancer. Because I'm just gonna play Electromancer Pass, and then next turn we probably win, right? He's Kaboom Beast, isn't he? He plays Blasphemous Act and uh, Blood Artist. Hi, how are you guys? Yeah, he plays Forbidden Orchard, Blasphemous Act, Boros Reckoner. That's a stack. Yeah, now we're just now we're just cooking with fire. It's always yield. Which one is Dice? That's Tobias. He plays Lantern and he plays Kaboombies. Like, isn't he a video maker? Which one? Yeah, he's one of the guys who does videos for our channel. <clears throat> so he's trying to wait, uh, and uh, he's, he wants to use his Rector Strom in response to Pasta Flames. Which is not a bad idea, I guess. But Power of Man's of Ascension is online, and that's enough, I think. I don't think we need Pass and Flames here. Just because Rituals being copied and Mana Morphose being copied, plus Electromancer, we gain enough mana and we draw enough cards. Let's see, Visions. Uh, I'm gonna bottom both of these, I think. I'm looking for a Grape Shard. I think we already win if we find a Grape Shard. It's only like 16. That's a, that's a Pass of Flames. Yeah, I don't think I need more Rituals. I mean, we have a lot of mana. Ritual, ritual. Yeah, I don't need to use. I'm, I'm going to use Possum Flames here just so that he has to burn his uh, Rector's Charm. Let's see if he does it. He should. But I, I don't need it. But he should. Yeah, okay. That's fine. And now I'm gonna Fort Scar myself before this Pass of Flames resolves. Because we could Fort Scar a Grape Shot. And there's a Grape Shot. But it has only Storm Count 9. Wow, that's pretty low. So we need to do a little bit more work here. 
decklist for for uh, Tobias? I'm, I don't think so now. But you can just go on the YouTube and you'll find a decklist. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, it's Fortscar. Once more. What happened to my graveyard? We have Ritual. Okay, uh, what can we do? We can flashback this. Actually, there's no reason to do that. Can't do that. Okay, so Pass of Flames. Now we can just flashback everything. And I think we only need to cast like two more spells and then we have lethal. Right, so let's just cast some rituals. What's the storm count at? 15, yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna. Grape shot now. I don't think he has an answer. Oh, we need to let this resolve. And grape shot. Oh, a link for the storm list. Yeah, I can. Um, I can show you the deck. I'm gonna screenshot it. So that was fast, but I think we're gonna do another. Pro I'm probably gonna play a different deck. If he has things, I should have done two or three more spells. I realize that. But we can just go on and play until we find the next. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.